Здравствуйте, привет, and hello. Welcome to another video about learning the Russian language. In the last video, we went over family members. In this one, we're gonna go over body parts or chesty tela. So we're gonna learn a lot more nouns. Without further ado, let's get started. First, we're gonna focus on the face, лицо, and all the different parts of the face. So, here's a little diagram, and I'm gonna tell you each noun and its gender, although you should already be able to guess most of them because of our rules. Remember, if it ends in a consonant, it's probably a male noun. If it ends in a, probably female, and if it ends in o, probably neutral. So, face is лицо, and that is neutral. And the first thing we're gonna learn is волосы. That is hair. Волосы. Волосы. That is a person's hair, and it is a plural noun, which makes sense. This one, you probably, or rather, you have seen it before. Glass. It means eye. And it is male. Glass. Next one's very easy. Just like English. Nos. It is nose. Nos. Another male one. And then, rot. Which means mouth also male. Next we have ucha. That means ear. And it is neutral. Ucha. And finally, on the left, yazik. That means tongue. And it actually has two meanings. It also means language. Just like in English, tongue can sometimes mean language. If you've ever heard the term mother tongue, it means native language. So, yazik means tongue or language, and it is male. Now, these are the main ones, and I really want you to focus on remembering these. As you can see, there are other lines, because there are other um, parts of the face that we skipped, but I really want you to focus on these core ones. We have volusy, glass, nos, rot, ucha, and yazik. But just for flavor, if you've already remember um, already memorized these basic ones, a few more for you to know. Lop, it means forehead. Shika, it means cheek. Badbarodak, it means chin. Now don't let this one scare you because it looks really long, but it's actually a combination of two words. Bud means under. Barada means beard. So if you imagine a man's beard, what's under there? It is their chin. So chin is Badbarodak. 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 And then finally on the left, lips is gub. Singular is guba, and that's female, and plural is gub. But these are just extras. Only focus on them after you learn the main ones. All right, now let's focus on a couple that come in pairs, so you really need to know their plurals. On the left, we have a picture of an eye. Что это? means, what's this? Now notice I said что это, not что это. This is one of those rare situations in Russian where what's written is a little different from what's pronounced. So it's written что, but it's pronounced что. So there's an sh sound instead of the ch sound. So remember, кто это 
means who's this, что это means what's this. Это глаз. This is an eye. But then on the right, we have a pair of eyes. Что это? Это глаза. Глаза is the plural form of eyes. And then in the bottom left, что это? Это ухо. But most people have two ears, so что это? Это уши. Now this is a really irregular way to pluralize a noun. Um, уха becomes уши. Now, later on, we're going to have an entire video about the rules of pluralizing nouns. And there are rules, it isn't just random, so that'll really help you. But it won't help you for this one because it's irregular. So just remember, уха becomes уши. Okay, a little more practice. I want you to answer each question yourself from memory. Что это? Now, if you said, это лицо, give yourself a pat on the back. Next one, что это? We have a picture of hair. Это волосы. All right, bottom left, easy one. Что это? Это нос. And then bottom right. Что это? Это рот. Okay, now that we've gone through the parts of a person's face, let's look at the rest of the body. So, the word body is тело. And it is neutral. Тело. Means body. Let's start at the top. We've got a person's head. That is голова. And it is female. Голова. Голова. And the head is connected to the шея, which means neck. Also female. Шея. And you got the head and the neck. Next one I want you to focus on is the stomach. Живот. That one is male. Живот. It is the stomach. And then their back, спина. Another female one, спина. All right, and then after that, рука. Now notice, what does the diagram show? It goes from the top of their arm to the bottom of their fingertips. That is because in Russian there is only one word and it means both arm and hand. So you get two for one. Ruka means both arm and hand and it is female. And then likewise, same thing with leg and foot. That is all one unit and it means naga. Or rather in Russian it's naga, also female. So most of these, as you can see, are uh, female, except for the stomach, shivot. Again, the diagram has other um, body parts in it, but I really want you to focus on these first, the core ones. Galava, shea, shivot, spina, and ruka, naga. Okay? But for flavor, we're going to go over a few more. So, there's shoulder, плечо, chest, грудь. Now, notice this one doesn't end in a, uh, um, but it is still female, грудь. Then the elbow, locket, finger, palets, and knee, колено. So those are just some extra body parts for you. All right, let's practice. First, um, as usual, the ones that most often come in pairs, 
and that is the hand or arm. Что это? Это рука. But if you have a pair of them, it needs to be plural. Что это? Это руки. So, рука becomes plural, руки. And then, the foot or leg. Что это? Это нога. This is a foot. Что это? Это ноги. These are feet. So, рука becomes руки, нога becomes ноги. Easy enough, right? And later on, we're going to learn why that is when we have a video on pluralizing nouns. But for now, just remember these. So, a little more practice. Что это? What's this? Can you tell me? If you said, это тело, give yourself a pat on the back. This is a body, a person's body. Now, on the right, we have an image of a person's head. Что это? Это голова. Bottom left, the arrow is pointing at the stomach. So, что это? Это живот. And then we've got an arrow pointing at a person's back. Что это? Это спина. Okay, well done! You made it to the end of the video on body parts. Give yourself a huge pat on the back. You did a terrific job. You're probably not going to remember all of these words after watching the video once. As usual, go over it as many times as you need to. And in the next video, we are going to do a review because we have learned a lot of things so far. So, very good job and see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.